A total of 63 recommendations were made for Toronto police, which included a number of different factors from police and investigation transparency to education and supports for victims families. And also now a decade later, the jurors have ruled your team's death a homicide. It was very important for the family um, that it be made known to the public that, you know, Sammy didn't want to die that night. He wanted help. The lawyer for the mother of Sammy Yatim says the family is pleased by today's verdict. That uh, homicide verdict, while it doesn't carry any legal weight and it doesn't create any legal jeopardy for anyone, it's really important. It was really important to the family. There are a total of 63 final recommendations which aim to improve officer training and mental health supports to prevent future deaths. They include a wide range of suggestions from an expansion of TPS in-house psychologists to a standardization of training at the police college level and developing a race-respecting mental health service with the guidance of individuals with lived experience. Many of the recommendations were jointly proposed by Sammy Yatim's family members, the Toronto Police Services Board and some police officers involved in the incident during the 13-day inquest. Some of the key ones that were really important to the family uh, was the idea of access to immediate and ongoing um, financial and uh, psychological, you know, uh, psychiatric supports for families who've lost loved ones in interactions with police. A team who was 18 at the time was alone on a streetcar holding a small knife. The officer who shot him, James Fursillo, was found not guilty of second-degree murder in connection with the first volley of bullets, but was convicted of attempted murder for the second round fired. One of the recommendations also includes training, so that officers who intervene in these types of situations will not face repercussions, and those who don't could be accused of misconduct. We just want to ensure that we're proactive in holding police services throughout the province to account. The jury also delivered a message to Yatim's family expressing their condolences, also saying that they hope that these recommendations will make Ontario a safer place to live. In front of police headquarters, Melissa Nakavali, City News.